Hi everyone, this is Vortex259. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today we're going to continue exploring the depths of the Cave of Mysidia in search of the third artifact that's going to be needed to unseal the Mysidian Tower. That artifact is called the Crystal Rod and it supposedly lies somewhere deep within this cavern. At the end of our previous episode, we made our way to the second basement floor of the Cave of Mysidia. I believe we found a power staff in this particular treasure chest. Now that we have both treasures that were available on this floor, let's make our way down to the third basement floor of the Cave of Mysidia. And in order to find the exit down to that lower level, we'll have to go through a door located in the southwestern corner of this room. So let's start heading that way. And that was a battle with some yellow-bellied yellow jellies. Also some red mooses, or would that be red meese or mice? Oh uh, well, also some yellow souls in that battle too. And I got Furion's life spell leveled up to level three after that battle, so making a little bit of magical progress there. Okay, let's turn west here, go up and around through this narrow corridor. Well, those cockatrice birds are not the only creature in here that can turn you to stone. Spectres also lurk the hallways of this floor, and they turn Guy to stone with their break six spell, so I had to spend some time healing him up. Definitely a good thing to bring some gold needles along. I'm really glad I brought a pretty good stash along here with me. So anyway, let's uh, continue southward here. And let's go down here and there's the doorway we want to take to go down to the third floor. So let's go up in here. <laughs> I got my revenge on one of those specters that time. Furion's level 3 life spell actually hit one of them and defeated it. So keep in mind you can always defeat undead with a life spell. And actually Maria and Guy got a level up on their magic defense. Maria and Guy's magic defense is now level 6. Therian and Layla are still straggling at level 5. Okay, let's make a U-turn here, go down this set of stairs, and we'll find ourselves on the third basement floor of the Cave of Mysidia. Just like the previous floor, there are two treasure chests available, so let's head up to the northwestern corner of this room first to get the first one. Continuing to make more progress on my magic spells, Maria's Aura spell is now level 4, as is Guy's Haste spell. So, moving on up there. Okay, let's go get that chest. And in order to get it, we're going to have to walk through a hidden wall right here. And inside this treasure chest, we'll find an Ice Bow. Pretty nice bow to use if you're leveling up your bow skill. I'm not leveling up the bow skill, so I guess I'll just sell it. Okay, let's navigate up and around to get to the second chest. Just kind of go in a clockwise fashion here. There's the chest. And I finally got Furion's life spell up to level 4. So, yet more magical progress. Okay, here is the second treasure chest available here on the third basement floor. Inside here we'll find an Ogre Killer Axe. But, the monsters aren't going to let it go so easily. It's going to be a monster in a box, so I guess I'll take care of these real quick. Yep, Square Enix dropped the bombs on us, four in my case, and we win the Ogre Killer Axe for our trouble. Now the uh, Ogre Killer Axe would have been a pretty good axe for a guy in the past, but since I'm having such good luck with his Flame Lances, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave those equipped on him. Plus those are very effective against all the undead I'm running into around here, so anyway I guess I'll just hold on to it for later maybe. Okay, let's make our way to the next doorway that's going to lead us down to the next floor. Not that door right there. The door we want is just up ahead here. This is it. So, going on down to the fourth basement floor of the Cave of Mysidia. As you can see, there is one treasure chest available on this floor. Well, maybe not quite 
just one chest, but you'll see what I mean here shortly. Let's uh, get around to the other side first. All right, let's make our way up this set of stairs and then we'll continue to go in a clockwise fashion. Well, I'm starting to run low on magic points. Time to use some ethers in the next battle or two, I guess. Nearly to that chest over there. Well, this is definitely one of the benefits of fighting the Malboros. They drop ethers and high potions occasionally, so I'll definitely take that ether. I'm going to need it because Guy's MP is now zero, but he did get an MP bonus, courtesy of one of those parasites. That's the reason his MP is zero, so... Anyway, Maria's Toadspill also leveled up to level four, so a pretty eventful battle there. We're only gonna find a measly potion in this treasure chest, but don't worry, there's more treasure chests actually available by going into this middle door right here. There you go, three treasure chests. Well, let's see what's inside here. First chest contains a Phoenix Down. Second chest will contain a Bell of Silence. We'll silence your enemies. And the third chest contains a Gold Needle. Gonna definitely need some replenishment on that. I've already had to use two or three, I think, on this run through of the Cave of Mycidia. Okay, now we want to go down to the southeastern corner of the room. Down to the final floor. We're almost done here. Well, that was a battle with Arios. They do appear as random encounters here in this dungeon. Tempted to use bad breath on my party. Did not work, and Furion got a magic defense bonus up to level 6. Okay, here we are on the final floor of the Cave of Mycidia. And uh, we get access to a treasure chest to start off with. Warning, do not open this chest without healing up and saving first, as you'll see why here in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and heal up and then save my game. Okay, I think that should be sufficient. I feel much safer opening up this chest now. If we open up this chest, we'll find a pretty useful tome, the drain tome inside. But it is going to be a monster in a box, and it's going to be a pretty tough monster at that. Oh boy, I get to fight five of them. I was hoping for two or three, and plus they get an ambush on my party. Yep, these are the ghosts. And in addition to having some very hard-hitting physical attacks, they can drain that back as HP, as you can see. And they can also cast some pretty high-level spells. They can cast the Mini 7 spell, the Scourge 16 spell, and the Curse 8 spell, I believe. So, instead of wasting my time casting fire on each of those, I'm just going to hit with weapons, and I'm going to have Maria use the Aura spell. That will add Elemental to everybody's attack. Plus, you can just plow through them a lot faster. So, pretty useless using fire, even though they are weak against it. Now, if you have a pretty high-level life spell, you can try using that against these, and it may be successful. The guy takes out the last ghost, and I survive! Yay! All right, gonna get some stat enhancements here. All right, I went ahead and healed up everyone. I'll probably put that drain spell on Maria a little bit later. I think I'm going to need to pick up the pace here. We're starting to run out of time. We still have more treasure to get. So let's run up this set of stairs. Go up the right side here. By the way, here are a couple of new enemies you can fight on this floor. You can fight the Flying Ray and the Dragon Toad. I believe the Dragon Toad is weak against ice. Otherwise, they're just normal battles. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of these and I'll meet back up with you. We'll take a look at all these new entries in the bestiary here a little later. All right, here's a treasure chest with a mini tome inside. So if you didn't spend time or the guild getting that earlier, you can equip that on your one of your characters now. And here are four more chests. There's a potion. There's an ether. There's a high potion. And lastly, another high potion. All right, let's go get the crystal rod now. Hope Pyrian doesn't get arrested for speeding. He's going to be buttoned down. More flying rays in that battle. There's the door we want to get to. So now it's just up and around. 
All right, let's go inside this door and we find three treasure chests. We're gonna get some pretty cool treasure. We're gonna get a drain tome, yet another one. Thankfully not guarded by a ghost this time. In this chest we'll find the only Osmos tome available from a treasure chest in the game, so make good use of that. And last but not least, we're gonna find what we came here for. There's the Crystal Rod. And thank you very much for watching today's episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. This has been Vortex259. We'll see you again next time.